Good morning, good morning. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm just, oh, I'm just getting my Zoe Sug book out because I'm going to make pancakes because it's, what day is it? It's a Saturday. Oh, and I've just realised the cactus is completely hollow and dead. It's a bit sad. I tried loads of different recipes, right? But the best pancakes are Zoe. From her book, and it literally opened right on the page. I didn't even have to, it just opened on the page. So I'm going to make that. And um, yeah, it is the weekend. Love it. I don't even know what we've got planned, but... I'm sure we'll find something. First of all, it's pancakes. Welcome to Fire Dance. Lighting, fire and haze effects are used during this performance. So, Joe and I have done a very spontaneous thing. We keep calling ourselves Spono. I love that we're being very spontaneous. spontaneous. We are at Fire Dance. So, Karen and Gorka's show was in Brighton, and I said to, it was what, 3 45. I went to Joe. Oh my god, Joe, Karen and Gorka are performing tonight in Brighton. Should we go? It was like, what time? I was like, it's on at five. Didn't give us very long to get ready, actually. In fact, our first Uber cancelled on us, didn't he? Mm. Fuming. And I stank a bonfire. Yeah, Joe stank a bonfire. Which actually, so you... to be fair, being here wouldn't matter because it is called fire dance. Yeah, exactly. I'd fit right in. You'd fit right in. And there's guys on stage with actual fire. Um, but we got ourselves ready. We are sat up really, really far because it's very, very much sold out. But it's so good. We love it. Um, it's crazy when you like look on stage and you're like, oh my God, they're our friends. We know them. So I love that. Anyway, it's a Sunday evening or afternoon and all oh, the curtain's coming back up, which means it's going to start very shortly. Really? I think so. I think they don't it's mess just, around. They don't mess around. Into. Karen's probably like, no, nah, come on. I want to go, I want to go home. It's a set Sunday afternoon. Um, <laughs> So we're gonna go for dinner after this as well, aren't we? Yeah, we'll try and find somewhere. What are you looking up? The Sunday Rose. I'm trying to find out where's um... a good place for dinner. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, the curtains just come up. I think it's gonna start again. It's put me in for some reason in Florida. Who's that say? Joseph. Oh. It's... So we had a little deal. Joe came with me to watch a dance show, um, and I've come with him to one of his favourite restaurants. Which is, I've never been here before, but I remember you used to have a fancy card for here. Yeah, I did. I just checked. I checked in the theatre. It's out of date. It's out of date, it's damn it. But you still have it in your but wallet. I've been here for years. Because of the pandemic and stuff, I've just not been here. I remember you talking about this. When you're it, I love Oaxaca. It's one of my favourite restaurants. It's always little snacky bits, street foods. Oaxaca. I should have probably said we are at Oaxaca. Um, well, I'm very excited to try it. Doing, we're also doing a tequila tasting the board. They have a tequila experience, which is a tasting board of three tequilas. Uh, hang on, aren't you driving? There you go. No, you're not. No. Yeah, right. Oh, hoi! Okay. Starts off with the Blanca, that's the youngest. Wow. Goes up to your Neha, that's the oldest. The okay. Sangrita is kind of like a palate cleanser. Thank you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> hey. Tequila, tequila. That was called a, a. Is that the names of them? Blanco. Yeah. Blanco is very strong. Is what's a sangrita? That's a, that's a palate cleanser. You got to finish this Oh, okay. That's. A, oh my god. Oh god, we're going in turns. It warms. It warms you. It warms the insides. Ooh. See it off. It's tequila. <laughs> oh, I cannot possibly finish the rest of that. Do you like that? It's, it's um, strong. It's kind of Mexicans doing it. It is. 
Do you, ever, do you know I've actually been to Mexico? You've been? Yeah. Never Many been. times. Actually, that does remind me of Mexico. Is it? Yeah. I'd love to go to Mexico. One payment, is it? Oi. A little chip and dip. This is like some sort of bean. It's like, um, they said it's not actually guacamole. It's raw bean. It's light, smooth and creamy, freshly prepared from organic fava beans. Mint coriander with nuts and seeds. What's your, what's your thought on it? Is it? There you go, you see? This is just bring back memories. This is the pork quesadilla. Aha. Uh -huh. Pork pill bill. Pill bill. He's loving it. Hi, I am attempting to daily vlog from the first up until my book launch, which I think is the 14th. I think it might be the 15th, actually. So 14 days straight. I'm going to try and see. I have done 14 days before. If you don't remember, I did quarantine and that was 14 days of daily vlogging. I was stuck in a hotel room. So surely I'll be able to do it when I'm not stuck in a hotel room, surely, right? I don't know. Maybe I, Maybe that's harder. I have no idea. Maybe it is harder because it's like everyday life. I'm going to attempt it anyway, but this vlog will be like the first day, so I'm always going to be sort of like a day ahead of myself, if that makes sense, so I can finish the day, edit it, get it up in the morning. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But right now, I'm going to go for a drive to get some bits. I want it. I've got an old school shopping list here. Literally a little shopping list. I need to get flowers, important, smelly stuff, washing stuff, carpet stuff. Everything's just stuff written on here because I don't actually know what I'm looking for. But I think I'm going to go to Lidl or Aldi, one of those shops. I can't remember what they're called. But I find they're like really good for the, those kind of things. So I'm going to have a look there. And then if they don't have it, I'm going to go to Wilco's because we, we all know that Diane loves a bit of Wilco's. But yeah, today is a real sort of admin -y, working stuff out kind of day. It's very cold. I don't know why I've only worn this little outfit. It's not really giving me much support. Support, much warmth. It is officially day one of me trying to daily vlog. So all the bits before were just the weekend bits. But this is the real deal now. Well, I say officially, this isn't like, it's not the first yet, but like I said, I think I tried to explain it before. This is the day before. So this vlog will go out on the first, and then what I go would do on the first will go out on the second. It makes sense in my head, so hopefully it makes sense to you. I have got quite a busy morning. I need to get myself organised. I need to try and fit a lot in in a short space of time. So I've got to do a quick tidy around the house. I need to have my coffee and breakfast, do a quick workout, get myself ready, go into London because I've got a podcast to do this morning. Then I've got two meetings. And then, actually my second meeting is kind of like, it's kind of like come to, to work with your boyfriend day. Because my second meeting is actually with Joe. Yes, he's called a meeting with me. <laughs> um, with his production company. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I need to do a lot before I go. It's currently 7am. And I'm going to firstly make my coffee. But first, look at these tulips I bought yesterday. beautiful day. You're a bit backlit. There we go. That's even better for you. Wow. So pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. And the vase as well. How nice is that vase? Don't ask me where I got it from because I actually don't know. <laughs> Probably a boot sale along with this. I'm pretty sure this cup was made from Casper. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. 
machine's playing up lately. This is not making the best coffee, so I think I need to clean it. If anyone knows how to clean this age, let me know. Meanwhile, over here, I'm making my yogurt. Greek style yogurt with some blueberries and some granola. This one's supposed to be good, but I actually prefer this one here. part of the day is eating my breakfast with my coffee. <sighs> I want to go for a little walk outside because there's no, loads of new um, flowers popping up. So that's when you know it's springtime is coming. Oh, right. I'm just going to sit enjoy my breakfast. some music on. Mm. Right, I'm ready to go. Um, outfit of the day, I'm going to quickly show you that and then get walking to the station because I think I'm already late. I might have to get the other train because, yeah, let's be honest, I am already late. Gosh, I didn't really have time to do my hair this morning. So we've gone for the LA Naturel. I washed it last night and just let it dry naturally. Although I have put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I'm really into eyeshadow at the moment. Very uneven though. This side's very thick and this side's quite thin. It's actually very uneven. Your eyeballs look white. Your eyeballs do look very do white, yes. Put eye drops, put eye drops in. Um, <laughs> Outfit of the day, I've got on my leggings that I got, well, leggings, I say leggings, tights that I got from Urban Outfitters. Boots, don't know where they're from, got them about 20 years ago. Uh, this top was a little rummage that I found in TK Maxx. Um, Chloe bag, and I think that's about it. Do you say where you get your earrings from? Because I have no idea where they're from either. I should start to actually understand where I get stuff from, but most of my stuff is charity shop things. So actually I never know where it's from. What are you doing? Dusty. <laughs> my house is so dusty. It's really not. I've seen cobwebs everywhere. <laughs> it's not even September. Uh, I have shown you these tulips this morning. I'm actually, oh, they're so beautiful. Not as beautiful as a bouquet. There. I know that bouquet is very cute. This is the bouquet Joe got me from outside. Look how delicate that leaf is. It's so pretty. Like, I will actually keep that forever in a book. You know, when you put like special things in a book, that's going in a book. And maybe I could dry the flower and put it in a book too. But yeah, actually, I really love my little display at the moment. I've like put books in their little. Let's just show you the display. This was an old yogurt jar. Didn't even paint it, it was that color. So we planted a pot in that. These are probably my favorite pots that we have. I absolutely adore those pots. Looking a little sad, the plants that are in there, but you know. This, I made this one as well. This was a teacup I found at a charity shop and then we planted a little succulent. Is that what you call it, succulent in there? Um, and then my mum and dad copied me and did the same at their house. So little copycats they are. Um, this mirror was from a vintage store. I actually bought this, Joe bought me this for my birthday and I absolutely love it. I think it was like 10 pound, but how pretty is it? Like all the, the detailing and the shape of it. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. And then Joe bought this from a boot sale. So he bought that and then he planted all the succulents in it. And that's probably one of my favorites as well. We also bought this side cabinet from a, um, not, not charity store, but a vintage store. That was like 10 pounds as well, I think. And um, I painted that up and I absolutely love that. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's the, the railings, railings. What do you call it? Ledge, the ledgings. Right, I really have to go. I actually missed my first train. So now I need to try and get the second one. Otherwise I'm done for. Right, so I've made it into London. 
and I'm currently heading to Joe's new office and I've actually been to Joe's new office more than Joe has um, this is like my third time coming to the office um, and I really enjoy it here it's very cool um, it's also very cold today my nose is like ugh. I felt like it was spring this morning I had even got my glasses my sunglasses in my bag and now it's turned very grey anyway I have a podcast to do I've probably mentioned that already um, in one of the meeting rooms at Joe's office and then I've got a meeting and then I've got I've also said this, a meeting with Joe, which actually cracks me up. Right, um, just made it, I think. Yes, I made it. I remembered where to go. Proud of myself. Hello, thank you so much for having me. So um, this book, the idea really came from when we were in like lockdown, lockdown 1.0, I'd call it <laughs> the first of many lockdowns. And there was so many. Uh, but during that lockdown, I started to do classes on my Instagram, on my YouTube account, um, where they were like live um, yoga flows, Pilates, dance classes, just things that got people moving really. And the response I had to that was incredible. Like I had people messaging me daily being like, this is the first time I've actually moved my body in however many weeks. And I can't tell you how good I feel. And this has given me a purpose. And this has really helped with my mental health and, and all these things. Um, and it's kind of a book that I always say to people, I wish that I had when I was like a younger girl growing up. And yeah, hopefully this book will help many people. Trying to uh, uh, try and get 15 days straight before the book launch. Oh my God, you've even got a little co like coffee station over here. That's super cute. As of 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh really? That's just been put up. That's brilliant. So this is the new office that they have literally just moved into, hence all the stuff going on, but it's really exciting. I love it. Very cool. Gonna get this one up on the wall. Joe's art piece. Splash of color. This one. Vietnamese egg coffee. Free range chestnut egg yolk whisked with condensed milk. Oh my God. I think I need to try one of those on the way back. So I am gonna go back and get a Vietnamese egg coffee. What? I'm all about trying new things and this is definitely one of them. Can I just get a takeaway, um, one of the Vietnamese egg white coffee, please? So, it looks like a normal coffee. Um, right, it just tastes like a normal coffee with milk and sugar. <laughs> Literally, that's all it tastes like. It's very strong coffee though. It is Vietnamese coffee. Um, it's nice. You can move the desk, like the main... Did the guy put the things up or did you girls put it? Yeah, I love that. That's really cool. Look at that. Special place on the shelf. <laughs> very nice. It's looking good already. Works with the colours. The orange, kind of. You know, it's a bit more pink in here, but <laughs> orange and pink look good together. Love that. Finally got your email address in your bio. Yes, <laughs> finally is in there. It only took about a year. Oh, meeting one done. I'm now off to meeting with Joe Sugg and his production company. I'm excited for his meeting. But my meeting went very well. It was like a strategy meeting for what I'm gonna get up to this year. Um, I don't know if I'm heading the right way, to be honest. I feel like I definitely have walked the wrong way. I'm trying to head to the train station, but I've forgotten which way I walked to get here. 
I'm gonna get off my phone and concentrate. Also, I don't like holding my phone out in the street because we all know what happened last time. It got stolen. So, my meeting with uh, Joe and his production company went well. Thank you for having a meeting with me, Joseph. It's all right. It's weird. It's always weird to know we have meetings together. Yeah, like I know. That. I felt very much like it was, um, I'm going to work with my boyfriend for the day. Mm. But I must say, very cool that you've got, like, it's, it's proper. It's a proper thing. It's proper, like, we don't just sit so around all day. We I was so know. impressed. <laughs> And Joe was, was like a proper little. Um, you said you like that when I'm in work. Yeah, mode. when Joe's in work mode. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Now I'm reading my. Uh, I was reading his paper, but he was very tired today, bless him. I'm He's a, running on to be able to sleep. I'm a tired puppy. But I'm very proud of him. Very, very good job, Joe. Great, great meeting. Thanks. Well done. Um, as far as it goes, well done. I'm picking my nose. No, it's a handshake. Nice doing business with you. Um, but we are on the way home. It's currently five o'clock, and uh, we've got some dinner from MS, which we'll have when we get home. But that's probably about it for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed the first day of my attempting to daily vlog. How do you say the end? But remember. Oh wait, because um, it's part of the day. Is, is this you daily? This is the first of my daily. Well, if you were me, you'd say I'm not a daily vlogger. No, I know, but didn't you, you used to do it in a... No, I know, but didn't you used to do it in a funny voice? No. I remember. No. Did you not? No. Oh. I think so. Anyway, I can't. That would be copyright if I'd used <laughs> Joe's. Um, he might yeah, come and sue me. He might come and sue me. <laughs> so, um, just remember... I'm not a daily daily videoer. <laughs> it's just different wording. <laughs> no, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I can keep it up. And like I say, this is the first of until the book launch.